Speaker of the House Paul Ryan says he's determined to lead his party despite all of the recent gridlock. Since I became Speaker, I have talked about the need to go from being an opposition party to being a proposition party and a governing party. It may take a little bit more time, but we are certainly listening and we're going to get there. Scott Wong, congressional reporter for The Hill, says Republicans can still can't agree on what they should do next, and he joined me for a conversation yesterday. You wrote a piece saying that the Republican Party is in disarray post-health care bill debacle. Why? Well, if you go around and ask different Republicans on Capitol Hill, you will get a different answer uh, as to what should come next after this monumental collapse of the health care bill. Some Republicans, like Billy Long, say they want to do infrastructure. Others, like Kevin Brady, the chairman of the Ways and Means Committee, he wants to do tax reform. Um, Speaker Ryan talked to all of his members in a closed-door conference earlier this week, and basically he said, what should we do? Should we keep at it on health reform or, or f throw in the towel? And, and most people said they wanted to keep going. And, and so the president wants to throw in the towel. Isn't that right, President Trump? He, he's publicly saying he's ready to move on, but behind the scenes, he has dispatched some of his top advisors, including Steve Bannon, to try to work out a deal. Remember, this was the number one priority of Republicans and the number one campaign promise of Republicans during the 2016 election. They said, we will repeal health care reform. Uh, and that last effort year, fell flat last yes, week. Yes, it did. And last year, how many times did they try to repeal it? What was More it, 60? 60, 60, yes. More than 60, Certainly. right. Do you think Paul Ryan's reputation is damaged after this? Uh, it certainly was a humbling moment for Paul Ryan. It was a humbling moment for uh, the President of the United States. Um, you know, I think in one regard, uh, you know, they were both in the foxhole together. You know, these were two, two men who did not see eye to eye during the campaign trail. And Ryan didn't support Trump. Ryan did in not the support Trump. He had very critical Donald things Trump, to President say. Trump very critical things to say about the about then candidate Trump during the campaign um, but they were on the same team on in this fight on health care and they were in the foxhole together I think they've developed a little bit more trust after this effort they didn't quite get there but maybe it helps for the next big battle according to the Washington Post Paul Ryan said that the GOP don't to the two GOP donors that health care reform will happen on a two-track approach what are you hearing? Is that what's going to happen, and, and is it going to happen soon? Well, uh, Ryan talks about health care in three phases. Uh, the first phase was supposed to be this health care bill. That failed. Um, but Tom Price, the uh, uh, secretary of HHS, is moving forward with many of his administrative uh, changes, uh, ro essentially rolling back regulations that had been put in place under the Obama administration. Uh, Republicans are moving forward with other types of legislation that they describe in, in what the, is phase three uh, that also tackles some other things. And so, uh, you know, the, the, there are efforts moving forward. It's the just, phase one has... I guess what you're saying is, just to wrap up, we have to sure. go. But I guess what you're saying is that now they have to figure out, while they're doing these, what's the big thing that they're going to tackle next? And is it health care reform? And that yet hasn't been decided. Scott right. Wong, thank you so much for joining us. Congressional reporter for The Hill.